Right everybody, this is the mower I'm going to be reviewing today. It's another Murray mower, but this time it's uh, battery powered from Amazon. Uh, £335, had editor's choice and um, it's had a couple of good reviews so I thought I'd have a little look at this. Looks like it's got dual batteries to power it, five year warranty. Oh, hello. Unusual for battery, that's a 44 centimetre cutting width, is really quite wide. Now that's going to be useful because, as you can see here, I've got quite a large garden and this grass, trust me, is really quite long at the moment as well. This is going to prove to be a pretty good test of any battery lawnmower. A run time of 36 minutes, that worries me. Whether I can get this lawn cutting time, but we'll soon find out. 640 square meters, well, that's less than this. Medium intensity, brushless motor technologies, lightweight, high performance blade, quality cut, and a dual battery charger. All right then, so let's get this opened up. Oh, another one coming to see me now. Let's see how this works out. It's like somebody wants to play with a toy. No I'm building a lawnmower buster. Look. Later. Okay, later. Oh dear, dejected. Well, the box opened up. Um, I take it, this must be the... It looks like that's the charger unit. Take that to one side. Put that down there. And this looks like, I guess, a couple of batteries. What I'm going to do is go and put the batteries immediately on charge while I'm building the mower so they've got a chance to get charged up. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so I've plugged the um, base station in, plugs into the back, comes with a um, UK standard three pin. It's also got a a two pin if anybody's over in Europe. Here's one of the batteries. I must admit they look great. <laughs> Very well designed. They've got some grooves on there that slides into and it looks like that slides comfortably into into place. So I'll just put that in. Okay that's both batteries on charge. So I've had a quick look through the uh, the manual but let's go back outside and, um, and start building the lawnmower. Okay so now back outside to have a little look. I'll tell you that's quite a good start. The, the, the one that's quite a big grass collector. Wow. And two, it's already it's sort of ready assembled. Looks like there's a couple of little things to clip in place. It's got the fittings in there, but that's good. That's sort of a saved us a bit of a job. It's good going. Right. Yeah. There's a the mower in there again. This is a, a Briggs and Stratton power head on this, so. They're used to making engines, so hopefully they're going to do a good job with this as well. So let's find out, shall we? Got everything out and just laid it down. Everything's here, obviously, with the exception of the charger and the batteries, which are in the kitchen. The bag of the bits to attach the handles together, the bag, the mower itself, the manual. So we'll have a quick little read through that just to check I'm doing nothing wrong. Okay, so just putting the handles on. I'll just slip this collar that slips over the top of the pipe and then that just connects and when you connect with both that actually holds the handle in place just make sure when you actually do this that you make sure that that is fully down to the bottom so that when you put this in to screw this up this isn't sitting higher up because originally I had it just sitting on this bottom bit here my fault I didn't have it properly pushed in but then you can easily tighten this up I'll just repeat again just make sure this handle is firmly pushed down to the bottom of this collar uh, here I've just tried and I didn't quite get it in the right place and made my life very difficult the minute I pushed it into place this easily goes in and just finished screwing the second part of the handle on now you see make sure you got this washer this side uh, not in between the two <laughs> or over here yeah that's the only thing you need to look out for there just to let you know and when I sort of read the manual, I should have read it properly. I've managed to install, uh, put in all these handles, they're on my round. And that's me being stupid, by the way. The manual tells you the correct way to do it. So now when that folds down, that pulls it too. So these lines should be in the outside. So I'm now going to take all the handles off and do it again. Oh! So all the handles should look like this when they're fitted. 
are these three stripes at the end so you can then pull it and release it okay uh, before I was struggling to do that it's because I had them on back to front that's it locked again pulls that back in place you know lesson learned okay you live and you learn there's little buttons on the back of these batteries to tell you when 100% charged and that says 100 even though it's upside down I'm sure, pretty sure it's not zero zero one that's 100% and that's also 100% so these batteries are fully charged uh, to get them out of the charger there's a little clip here you have to press that up and then slide them out I can't do this with one hand but make sure you release that little clip in the back there to get them in when once they're in it lets them slide out easily I'm going to try and put the batteries in so lift up the battery compartment this is a safety key um, really quite useful so if you know this is away in the garage if you take this out nobody can operate it I mean obviously if you've got children that's a really good idea that nobody's messing around so I'll put the safety key back in um, the battery slides into like that then good push clicked into place make sure it clicks that's in place now and then I'm going to slide this one in and again give it a good push click and that's them both firmly in place okay with the grass collector there's just a couple of these little clips to go around and then that was ready so that, <laughs> that was really simple to set up and then I've been reading this uh, do's and don'ts so again it's saying here if you're cutting longer thick wet grass you know adjust to cut higher in an overgrown lawn which that's basically what I'm going to do here this grass is really quite thick so I'm going to have to take this down in stages and I'll do that with any mower so this lawn mower has a really simple height adjust as well like you see I can do that with one hand pretty easy <laughs> the remote's not rolling backwards and forwards but you can drop it down to the lowest so like I said one at the front is the lowest and seven at the top will be the highest it's got seven cuts I'm going to start at the highest because this grass is yeah really take it down in a few stages let's just see how we get on and start the lawnmower up to start this basically pressing the safety button first on the side pull the handle back Release the handle and it stops. Yeah, just one thing I'd like to stop moving for a second. One thing I'd like to say is this is a very light mower to, to manoeuvre. This is good. I mean, it's not self-powered, but perfectly honest, it's so easy to push. It doesn't have to be self-powered. So, and also just the noise. It's uh, a lot less noisy than um, the petrol equivalent. Yeah, let me continue to mow the grass and see how we get on. Done the first cut and the, uh, the highest setting on the lawn mower, and uh, yeah, it's done really quite well. I mean, power wise, I'm going to just switch this on. Hang on a second. Indicator lights there, you can see that one's gone out and two are still on, so I'm assuming I've used a third of the power. I'm going to um, set it a little bit lower and take some more off and, and let's see how it gets on just going to see how much uh, battery power I've used after that cut that's 69% left 
Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, and same on that side, 69%. That's about right with the two green lights to what they said at the top. So I'm gonna drop her down to a four. Just to say that I'm uh, quietly impressed. I mean, this, this bin is now full of grass. The lawnmower is down there, it's still going. It's only got a little bit left to do. And I've just walked down. So I originally had it on seven, then I dropped it down to four on the settings. So the seven on the left hand side here, four here. So, I mean, it's doing a pretty good job. Obviously I've still got one or two issues with the lawn. Um, have a look here. This is Buster the dog. I think he's drinking battery acid because why does this happen to the lawn? I've got no idea. He bleaches it wherever he pees. It's a real pain. But um, let me see if this, uh, if the mower lasts for um, this last couple of strips. It's down to one of the green lights now on the handlebars. Uh, but I'll be honest with you, very impressed. It's doing really well. Let's hope it finishes this last little bit of lawn off. So you can see that uh, Buster's suitably impressed. Having that lie down in his newly cut lawn. I must admit, I'm quite impressed as well. I mean, he's uh, done a good job of cutting the lawn. Okay, it's only as low as a four, but you know, that's good enough for me. You don't want to cut your grass too short anyway, um, especially in the summer months, because you'll just burn it. But it's done, uh, it's done really well. I mean, the pickup is fantastic. I mean, it picks everything up. I mean, before I've seen some of these battery lawn mowers and they leave more grass on the lawn uh, than they do in the grass collector at the back, but not, not with this one. He's, uh, he's picked everything up. He's done a real, real good job. Um, I'm gonna have a look in the front to see what charge we've got left. Bear in mind, this is mowed this lawn twice. Ooh, yeah. 6%, 7%, oh, you could safely say, um, yeah, I was right at the end of the charges, but you know what? Yeah, it's done a real good job. I'd recommend it. It's obviously and it's very light to move around, so anybody that's, you know, older, slightly weaker, sometimes pushing petrol or mowers, can be quite heavy, bulky things, even with self-propelled. But this is really light to use. It's done a great job. So, uh, yeah, highly, highly recommend it.